stenciling Dunedin streetscape. Polish artist Nie Spoon and her husband are working on the city's latest public mural in Moray Place. They've been enticed south by the Dunedin Street Art Trust. We're getting quite the reputation internationally. It seems everyone who comes here wants to come again, and not only that, tell their friends about it and spread it out on the International Street Art Network. A new mural nearby was painted by another international artist at the weekend. The mower by UK-based Flem is his third work in Dunedin. He's one of several top illustrators loving the local scene and showing residents what's possible. We really want to lift the, the uh, game for local artists. We want people to be inspired and go ahead and, and give us the best submissions they possibly can. You might have seen some of the chorus cabinets around the city. They've been done a lot by local artists and they're amazing and we want to see some really big scale versions of those as well. This wall in Rattray Street is for changing works, painted anew every month or so. One of the Trust's main motivators is inspiring youth. The whole idea that you can inspire young people to potentially be doing this anywhere themselves in the world. Also the art's free to look at, there's no cost for you to go and look at it, you can stand and, and engage with it in, in whatever way you like for as long as you like. This Carroll Street alleyway is the subject of a competition for local artists. The winner will receive $1,500 and agreed costs to paint the walls, which will feature on the Dunedin Street Art map, and that's prompting tours through parts of the CBD. The people are actually going and, as I said, engaging with the art. They're also using the local facilities, and there's more pedestrians, there's more people on the street, and that isn't a bad thing. It's all part of ongoing efforts to revitalise the city. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.